Okay, so here we are on the river. And it's nice and early in the morning. We're gonna see what we can catch. Now I'm using worms and minnows, so I can catch anything. I'm not really going for sturgeon anymore. I just have to watch my cast so I don't cast into the tree above me. It'll be interesting to see if there are any fish here I want to bite this morning. You will see, it looks like I'm at that point right to the line. Because So that was definitely a bite. You can see that my minnow was bit right off at the head. So I better get another minnow on there and cast it out there. Look at that yet again. Bit off part of the body. Also we're biting on the worm. So I am gonna put on more weight so it sticks very hard. I can tell when I'm getting a bite easier. Okay, I got, okay, I have fish of some sort on here. Oh, it's a little ball I Okay, there you go. Nice little walleye. You can see the very spiky bin right there. Oh, the lighting here is horrible. Anyways, don't want to touch that. That hurts a lot. So yeah, just a nice little walleye. Back to fishing, I guess. Okay, I have another fish on. I haven't seen it yet, so I don't know what it is. Oh, looks like it might be a moon eye. Actually, it's just a small gold eye. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can show this off well. So if you see the gold eye, it's got a pure gold eye. Whereas the moon eye, is only gold on, the, on half of the eye. So that's the easy way to tell the difference. So this is a gold eye right here. And it's not a very big one. They get a lot bigger than that. And a lot of people can't tell the difference between a gold eye and a moon eye, and it's so easy. And this is actually a male right here because it's got the pointed fin right here. The females, it's rounded off. So this is a male gold eye right there. Yeah, just take a look at the eye. They kind of have almost a slight piranha look when they're bigger and fatter. Yeah, these guys will take worms and minnows and just about anything if you're fishing for them. They're a good fight. I personally catch a lot more moon eye than gold eye though when I'm fishing the river. I'm not sure if my camera's gonna pick that up. But that is a type of aquatic worm that you can find here. Let's see if I can get it to focus. No, it's not gonna focus. Anyways, those are horsehair worms. Got a few names, but the name I've always heard them by is horsehair worms. And I actually did a report in biology and I think it was grade seven or eight on these things. They're pretty interesting worms. If I remember correctly, what happens is they actually uh, spend their larval state in grasshoppers. And then they basically brainwash the grasshoppers to go drown themselves and the larvae come out of the grasshopper and grow into these adult worms. And they're, they're well named. They are about as thick as a uh, horsehair, hence why they're called horsehair worms. I'm not sure if they're good or bad really, unless you're a grasshopper. But they're kind of an interesting little worm. I was kind of surprised to see this. I've only ever seen them in reservoirs and in the local pool. The local pool is an outdoor pool and I've seen them in there too. A lot bigger. This guy's not actually that big. He's 
maybe uh, maybe 20 centimeters I've seen them up to a foot so anyways there's your little interesting creature of the day okay I got a little fish of some sort on here I'm really sure this one's a moon eye it's too small to be a gold eye That's a moon eye. Okay. So that one, you can see the eye. Oh, it's not all gold. It's only like the top half. So that's a moon eye. And yet again, it's a, it's a male. Well, not yet again, because it's the first moon eye. But moon eye and gold eye, you can tell the males from the females due to this fin right here. This one's sharp, right? Whereas other, the females would be curved nicely. Yeah, that's a pretty small moon eye, but moon eye don't typically get very big. They, they're a fish that does not really get over a pound that often. So this is just this one. Uh, lots of the time, go, people go um, fly fishing for these. They're actually really fun on a fly rod. And yeah, they're fun fish. Again, they kind of, kind of barely look like a piranha in a way. Like they, they got the same mouth. And so yeah, that's a typical little moon eye. Better get him back to the water. Okay, so I'm going to be packing it in very soon. Uh, fishing wasn't great today. It wasn't horrible either. It's way better than yesterday. So I caught the. The wall eye, the gold eye, the moon eye. So I caught the three eyes. There is actually technically one more eye. That would be the saw guy. What it is, is it's a cross between the, the saw guy and the wall eye. And I don't think I've ever caught one, but I know that my dad's caught one while I've been with him. And they look a lot like a saw guy, but they got the white tip of the wall eye. And a few other aspects say wall eye on them. Anyways, so yeah, I had a lot of bites today, but I kept missing them. I don't know if it was just smaller fish like the flathead chub, should I catch a few down at the forks, or if it was just me missing fish. Like obviously earlier I did miss the two bites that bit my minnows in half, which could have, I think, were probably just small walleye biting them in half. And I did lose a lot of bait today without feeling the bites, which I figure were crayfish. Down, I, I uh, changed spots a while ago, and at the last spot, I killed three crayfish that were just very close to shore, so I would not be surprised if I was losing some bait to crayfish. But yeah, I can't complain too much. Catching the three species of fish in one morning on a quick little outing was fun. And now I'm going to head back home and Maybe grab a little bit more breakfast. I only had a tiny bit of breakfast before I came out here. But I figured I'd eat some breakfast with my wife. And gotta work midnight shift tonight again, so that's gonna be fun. But I don't know, I might even get out fishing later today because I'm having my fly rod, fly vest, and some other gear brought in today. And I'm really itching to go out with the fly rod. I've heard that over on the ponds with grass carp that you can actually catch the grass carp on the fly rod if you use a small fly on the surface they just come up and take them. So I'm going to see if that's worth trying or not. I don't know if I'm going to go out or not. We'll see. I also have to sleep some more because last night I only got five hours of sleep. I figured I'd sleep through the day a little bit today so I can be well rested for the midnight shift. So yeah. Anyways. Um, Remember to go down there and subscribe to my channel, and then you'll always know whenever there's new fishing videos out or other videos of other things. And if you want to have a product or something advertised on the site, contact me through my Facebook page or through YouTube if you know how to do that. It's a little difficult. And if you want a fishing trip, follow the link below, and you can have a guided trip with me. There is bite, of course, when I'm on camera. Missed it. And yeah. If you want to be out fishing with me sometime soon, feel free to hit me up or I also do fishing trips during the winter, ice fishing trips, those ones are fun. And whenever you want to go fishing, just message me through Facebook. Have a good day, people.